Hey guys, uh, Nonchalant IQ here. And uh, today I want to show you guys real quick. This is an advertisement, I suppose. But I do want to share it with you guys because I think it's pretty cool. I want to show you Face IQ Labs. Okay, this is Face IQ Labs. So you get your Harmony score, your Angularity score, your Dimorphism score, your Feature score, and your overall score. And here we have Tom Holland here. And he got a 6 out of 10, which I think is quite accurate, actually. That's about what I think I have him on my chart. 5.75 to 6, depending on the era. Here I would give him a 6 out of 10. And we see his Harmony score, he got a 65%, 61.8% front, 68.8% uh, side. Here we can see the breakdowns. Of course, you'll be able to click each individual assessment and see it drawn out and get custom advice for each one. At the moment, we don't have that uh, implemented yet. Of course, this is just gonna be beta as well. So for example, his top third got a tier two. Um, it was 20%, it's a bit short. Uh, and then his bottom third got 38%, it's a bit too tall. He has a bit of a squished face. We can see his total face shape was 1.28. That means it's a bit too short. So these assessments are accurate. We have this for both the front and side profile, all the harmony assessments. And uh, yeah, we'll have descriptions of the percentiles. And of course, the percentiles will eventually actually be based on the user base. So you'll be able to see where you stack up against other people. Angularity was a seven, which in these images, I definitely agree with. Dimorphism was a five. Definitely agree with that. He is a bit of a boyish look. And then features a 3.6, seventh percentile estimate, which I definitely agree with. Um, in the app, he was deducted for the ears, the thin eyebrows, the thin lips. He definitely has no eyelashes. You know, he pretty pretty poor, poor, poor features. I definitely agree with that assessment. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna have morphs. So you'll be able to upload your face and based on the data, we'll actually show you what you look like if you improved your face. Okay, we're gonna have custom advice, like a full roadmap of all the things you could do. For example, for Tom Holland, uh, I don't even think this is uh, accurate yet for the face we are uploading. But for example, this would you know have autoplasty. That actually is accurate for him. Uh, and I can, wait, actually, I think we have implemented this already into effect. This is actually accurate. So this will basically assess the data and then give you an improvement plan based on the data. So that's the advice section. So. Uh, yeah, we're still working on it, but beta will be out pretty soon. So if you'd like to claim your early spot and you'll get a pretty fat discount when it does drop, you can go put your email and number in the link down below, faceiqlabs.com. If you're in that list, you may be selected at random for early testing for free, for a lifetime probably. We're just gonna give away some free just to get people using it and kind of talk to them, see how they like it, see what we need to improve. And if you're on that list, like if you put your email and number down below on that list, you are locked in at a cheaper price than everyone else. And that will be the only way to get that, okay? Because we wanna see how many users we're gonna have realistically, you know, to pay the software developers, to pay, you know, the design team. You know, this is a very expensive project I'm, I'm working on, but I think it's gonna be the best software out there. I'm gonna use it myself for the faces I analyze, that's for sure. And we're gonna try to get it out to all of you guys at a pretty affordable price. So yeah, I mean, the Harmony is already completely accurate. Um, angularity is really accurate features. It's already pretty accurate in the overall score, like Tom Holland getting a six. I definitely agree with uh, me and creating attractive and our team are working on this together. And I think we're kind of the better minds in this space. Creating attractive is one of the first people to ever be in this field. I'm really happy to have him on the team. So we've been, you know, working on this day in and day out to make this as good as possible. See so yeah, again, guys, uh, drop that uh, email and phone number down below. If you're interested in face IQ labs, I think it's going to be pretty awesome and peace.